In this video, we will discuss how to format a complete thesis in MS Word. I will suggest not to format the thesis at every stage of writing, but to complete all the write-up and then format the whole thesis in just 30 minutes. This is a typical thesis which includes a title page, certificate pages, etc. Here will be the table of contents. list of figures, list of tables, and finally the list of abbreviations. The title pages are ending up here. From here the abstract of the thesis starts. This is chapter 1 which is the introduction of the thesis. It continues through some pages. In this chapter, like a typical thesis, I have included sections, subsections, figures, and tables. We will format all these step by step in a manner to do perfect formatting in a short time. Chapter 1 ends here, and the second chapter of literature review starts here. This chapter and the rest of the chapters are also possessing the same structure. I will format one chapter from these and the rest can be formatted accordingly. However, to show some features in the formatting, I will do the chapter titles of each of the remaining chapters. Let me go through the thesis. This is chapter 3 which is materials and methods. This is chapter 4 which is results in discussion and finally we have the last chapter which is conclusions. At the end of the thesis as usual the references. Let's go to the top of the thesis. This is the front or title page of the thesis. The very first thing to do is to click the paragraph mark because this will guide us to format the thesis quickly and accurately. This tells us about the places where enter has been pressed, page breaks, section breaks, etc. This also helps in page numbering and headers and footers. Let's insert the page and section breaks wherever required. In order to insert a page break, either go to insert menu, under the pages, select page breaks. Or go to the layout, under the breaks, page breaks and section breaks with different options can be applied. First, let's insert a page break here. And this page is ending here, so insert a page break. And similarly insert page breaks at the end of each page in the title pages. Now as the abstract starts here, so the title page are up to the abstract, let's insert a section break in addition to a page break here. Now the abstract is dealt as a complete chapter, so we will insert both a page and a section break here.
another complete chapter the chapter 1 starts from here so at the end of the chapter we will insert both a page and a section break Similarly, we will repeat the same practice for chapter 2, 3, 4 and 5. For the references, we do not need to change anything here as this chapter remains as a separate one. Let's insert the page numbers, keeping in view that on the title pages we need to insert Roman numbering, while on the rest of the pages the Arabic numbering. To assign page numbers, Go to insert option on the ribbon, under the page numbers, we have different options whether to put the page numbers on the top, bottom, as well as on the left side at the center or on the right side of the page. Let me select the bottom and center of the page option. Page numbers have been assigned to a total of 42 pages. This is the first our title page and page number 1 has been assigned to it. Principally, we shouldn't have a page number on the first page. To remove page number from the first page, Click at the page number and under the references tab, select this option is different first page. It has removed the page number. While the next page starts from 2, 3 and so on. In order to assign Roman page numbers to the title pages, click at this point, under the references tab, go to page numbers, select the format page numbers option, from the prompted menu select the required Roman page numbering, It has assigned Roman page numberings up to the title pages.
while for the rest of the thesis the numbering remains is arabic due to section break We can review it back here. Is no page number on the first page, Roman page numbering on the title pages, and Arabic page numbering after the title pages. In the title pages, we can either assign chapter titles, which we will cover later in this video. Are manually increase the font size and font style like a chapter. With the help of the Format Painter tool, we can copy and paste the same formatting on the rest of the headings in the title pages. Keep in mind to select the paragraph mark while selecting the headings. Now, let's assign automatic chapter numbers to the chapter titles. First select the chapter title, which is abstract in this case. Under the Home tab, in the paragraph section, go to multi-level list and select the chapter heading 1 option. However, the abstract is not supposed to be numbered as chapter 1, while in the table of contents, it must be reflected as a chapter. To remove chapter numbering from the abstract, go to multi-level list again and select the option None. Now, Go to the next chapter which is the chapter 1 introduction. First remove this text as it will be automatically assigned. Select the introduction. Go to the multi-level list again and select the chapter 1 heading. However, as we have done it for chapter 1, this time we select the chapter 2 title and on the home tape under styles select the chapter 1 heading 1 option. It will automatically assign chapter 2 to it. Now we will repeat the same practice for chapter 3, 4 and 5. While for the references we will do in the same manner as we did for the abstract. Now the possible table of contents can be previewed in the navigation panel which can be accessed by Ctrl plus F or on the home tab under editing select find. In the navigation panel select the headings and a possible table of contents will appear. As discussed earlier 
we can assign chapter status to some headings in the title pages without assigning chapter numbers in order to include them in the table of contents. To do this, we will repeat the same practice we did for the abstract and references and this way these will be included in the table of contents. To assign automatic sections and subsections in the chapter, first select the section title and manually format it to the desired size and style. Number it according to the chapter. Once done with the manual formatting, save it as in automatic style by modifying the existing default style that can be applied on the rest of the sections in the thesis. In the same manner, do the manual formatting for the subsection and save it to the automatic style by modifying the existing one. This way, we do the other sections and subsections in the thesis. However, the automatic assignment didn't work for this subsection and it has been assigned a wrong numbering. To correct this numbering, select the title and go to the numbering options and select the right subsection numbering. We do the same practice for the next subsection. in this section here the starting should not be from 1 so select the title and go again to numbering select the set numbering value option and select a starting value is 2 do the same practice for the next subsection as well
The updated list is being displayed in the navigation panel. The last section can be formatted from the style section easily. And with this our chapter ends. We can do in the similar fashion for the rest of the chapters and this will complete our table of contents. To apply automatic captions to figures and tables, we proceed as follows. First, copy the figure caption. Go to the references tab. Select insert caption. A dialog will appear. Under the label option, select figure. From the numbering option, we can select other parameters like the numbering format, include chapter number is heading 1. And the separation between the chapter number and figure number is period. Although it is showing here 2.1, however, when we will insert the caption, it will be 1.1. Paste the already copied caption here and click OK. Remove the manual caption and center align the automatic caption with a shortcut Ctrl plus E are from the home tab and paragraph options. In the same manner, do the automatic captioning for the rest of the figures in this chapter and all the remaining chapters. A total of 9 figure captions has been done in this chapter. Now we can start with the table captions in the similar fashion. First copy the table caption. Go again to the references tab on the ribbon and select insert caption. This time select the table in label option, paste the caption and click OK. It is inserted the automatic table caption, remove the manual caption and proceed for the remaining three tables to insert their automatic captions. The chapter 1 ends here. Now, after completing the automatic captions for figures and tables, we are ready to insert the list of figures and tables. For the list of figures, go to the references tab and select the insert table of figures. Under the 
Under the caption label, select figure and click OK. It has inserted the list of figures with the respective page numbers. To see it clearly, we can opt out the paragraph mark. To insert the list of tables, This time under the caption label, we will select the table option and click OK. This way, it generated the list of tables with their respective page numbers. To insert the list of abbreviations, we will proceed manually. First, we will have to find the used abbreviations in the thesis and then right here under the list of abbreviations To ease the search of abbreviations, we can use the navigation panel, write the parenthesis here, and under the results it will show all such parentheses wherever abbreviations are used we can copy them to the list of abbreviations now we can insert the table of contents And here is the table of contents. We can see that the title pages are being numbered in Roman while the rest are in Arabic. Here we can remove the unnecessary chapter number and title in the same manner we did earlier during the chapter titles treatment. In order to proceed with the headers and footers, Click in the top empty space of the page, the header and footer menu is activated. Make sure that in the headers and footers menu, under the options, the different odd and even pages is ticked. For chapter 1, we will write chapter 0, 1 and to make it fancier, Let's insert a color line below it. Copy this line for later use.
In the same chapter, we can assign different headers to odd and even pages. In the next chapter, we will assign headers to different odd and even pages as a new entry. So deactivate the link to previous option. We can proceed to the next chapters in the similar fashion. Keep in mind that for any new entry, the link to previous option must be deactivated as if it is not done, it will affect the earlier chapters headers as well. As the conclusion chapter is a page, so we can write both the odd and even page content on the same page. While as usual for the references chapter. And thus, our thesis is ready to be printed now. In case your document is behaving differently the way I did, you may ask in the comment section for a remedy or can contact me on sayphysics at gmail.com for a way out. Thanks for watching the video.